Hey guys, it's Jamie here with Wild Foods where we are obsessed with ingredients and the stories behind them. Today I'm gonna to show you guys something really tasty and delicious, so y'all should hang out with me and stay tuned. I'm gonna be making a matcha cocoa elixir. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna contain our ceremonial grade matcha as well as our wild cocoa powder. So matcha is known for its antioxidants, its powerful energy. Matcha is just super popular and a great alternative to coffee. The way that the caffeine is absorbed into your bloodstream is different than coffee. Matcha caffeine absorbs into your bloodstream between four to six hours. So it's a slow process, whereas coffee is like instantaneous, which is in like 30 minutes. Matcha is also popular because you don't crash like you do in coffee. So typically people like to take matcha just like in a form of a latte, uh, which we do all the time. We have our amazing matcha latte that we're gonna serve at our coffee bar. It's so delicious. I'm just gonna add a little bit extra today. We're gonna make it a cocoa matcha, which is going to be delicious. All right, so first things first, we're just gonna take our macadamia nut milk. This is what we use as our base. It's unsweetened, one of our favorite milks. It's delicious. We're gonna do a cup of that. And we're just gonna pour it into our kettle because we're gonna warm this bad boy up on the stove. All right, guys, so our milk is nice and warm, as you can see from all that steam. So we're gonna put everything in our blender here. We're gonna do just about a teaspoon of matcha. You don't need a lot of matcha. This stuff's very strong. Put that right in. And we are gonna do about a tablespoon of our cocoa powder. And real quick, I'm gonna throw in some cocoa butter. We can't forget these amazingly tasty Little guys here, they're gonna go right in. All right guys, the aroma is ridiculous. Here's our matcha cocoa beverage. It looks so darn good and smells amazing. Yum, I'm gonna try this guys and tell you what I think. Delicious, oh my God. It's basically a hot cocoa, but it has that matcha in it that will give you the extra energy, especially if you're not doing coffee. I added a tiny bit of monk fruit to just sweeten it up a little bit. You don't have to add any of that, especially with the cocoa butter. It's totally optional, but I'm loving this, especially on this super chilly day. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick little matcha recipe. As I mentioned, Definitely give it a shot if you're looking to maybe try alternatives to coffee or you just wanna try something new. It's amazing. You will most likely only hear good things about matcha, especially ours. It's ceremonial grade from Japan. It is top and premium quality. We made sure that we sourced it perfectly. So thank you for watching. Be sure to tag us and share your video if you or, or whatever it is that you make your recipe if you guys end up trying it. We appreciate you coming over this way and we have more coming for you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like. I'll see you guys later. Bye.